these kind of three big things you're doing, what do you think you're going to end up doing that? In those three areas? Well, yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> no, I, I don't think I would really go uh, outside of those three areas. Um, there's, uh, um, you know, Tesla and Solar City are on the sustainable energy front. But those are pretty big problems. Um, and, uh, it, you know, it's, it might expand within those areas because of an idea for an electric uh, plane and maybe one that can go supersonic and do both the type of landing. Uh, and then there's, I think it would be interesting to sort of take a look at fusion. Uh, that's a really tough problem. Um, and then, um, so that's what you keep you busy for a while. Yeah. I want to hear more about the electric plane that you brought up really early on in the talk and, and how realistic that is from a technology standpoint and, and from a you know, new startup standpoint possible. Is it, is it possible technically right now to do that in an interesting way? Seems like a lot of batteries. There's a lot of batteries, yeah. Um, well, it definitely the electric plane is going to get more feasible as battery energy density improves. Um, it's, because it's, it's definitely feasible right now. It's just a question of what the range will be. Um, and you have, you have to be very, uh, your, your um, energy density of, of, of the overall plane. Like the, basically, the electrode area uh, as, as a function of plane mass is be very high. Uh, and then I have some ideas for how you could really use the fact that you, you have a, an electric motor driving the fan blades as opposed to a jet engine which is taking its oxidizer from the ambient environment. Because um, so you, you would design a plane differently if you, if you didn't have to deal with um, you know, rare air. So, uh, so that's why the, 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 this sort of interesting configuration where it could be used for vertical takeoff and landing and also potentially to design. Um, but it, it, it's, you know, so it's a tricky problem. I try not to think about it because I don't too much to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Mark? Um, flat out curves are really 